M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Big thanks to IJV Mod, and we're looking at the CW modulation continuous wave and how do you make the cable so you can connect your CW Kia. So, have a look here. You do have to make a special cable. If you look here at these diagrams, uh, freeze the video, I'll make them quite big so you can see them. There is a circuit diagram there of what you're actually doing and here's what the cable looks like. Now I haven't made one, I might have a go at making one but not today. I will put in the link to this page which is, look at when you're on this page, go to page, let's see it there, 7.7 7 .7 and thoroughly read it. You can make yourself a key and it looks like it's splicing into the is it the bottom one? Is that the two? Well, actually, it looks like it's the bottom, but I got a feeling when it's plugged into the UV5, it's actually the smaller 2.5 that you're splicing into. So work it out. You can see on the right there, the radio there. Now, after this video, I'm going to attach another video of how to install, you know, how to, not install, how to set up the CW mod on your radio and how to load the firmware, because I did make a... A video of that so it will be attached to this video thanks for watching so far to load the firmware just go to this link in the description it's the same link that has the CW instructions you've got two one is the K5 programmer which looks like this just download it show you what it looks like and it allows you to back things up so when they if we come out of firmware mode Always unplug the cable when you're making these settings. Pull the cable out, turn the radio on, plug it in, like we've just done. Make sure we're not in firmware mode there. You do need to make sure these cables are plugged in correctly, otherwise you can have problems. The advice is to make a backup using this. Select your COM port, we're on COM 11 here not being found at the moment let's just see if we can find it radio not detected com1 let's right click device manager double click oh it's changed com so let's find out in and out see what I mean by these cables they just play up don't they okay there it is there pushed it in a bit harder and it's appeared now Go back to the software, select 11. And now you can actually read the configuration just by clicking read and write it, read calibration. So that's how you do your backup. When you read it, it saves the file. So IJV definitely recommends you do this. Like so, so save and same goes for the calibration. Right, once you've done that, close that. Go to the firmware window. Now you need to the firmware's just gone to my download. You need to unplug, turn off, hold down PTT, plug it back in, keep your finger on. To do that first, off PTT, on, white torch, then cable will lock. Cable goes in last. Okay, that's really important. Right, we're in firmware mode, and then we can just... Now we've got the firmware data. Go, go back to that program that we were just using. And now to write the firmware, you just click write firmware. It will know if you're in firmware mode. So you want to go find the firmware that you just went to my downloads folder. And really be careful to find the correct firmware. I, think I just managed to find one eventually. K5 2.0.1. Let's try that one. Do you know the one you want is called 2.9.R2 bin firmware IJV 2.9.R.2 bin. That's the, definitely the one you want there, okay? And there it goes, flashing away. That's how to load the firmware and the rest of the video is going to show you how to set up the CW. M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Had someone asked me if I could re-show the CW transmit on the IJV modification for the UV K5 K6 radio. So I'm just going to quickly go through it again. 
First thing I recommend you do is turn it off and put it into the secret menu. So off, hold down the PTT here and here, hold them, turn on and the display will say release all keys. Once you've got to that point, then you just go menu. The first one is number three and you want to put that into CW mode. So you just go menu up and down until it selects CW mode, which we're in now. Like so. Now we can just go to menu 39. You don't have to go up and down, just type 39. 39. And just make sure that that is on. By default it is, so you shouldn't have to change that one. Then go 60. This is the one that's very important, otherwise the side key won't work when you press it to transmit. So press menu and just go up and down and make sure it says you select C. W call CQ. Let's go menu. You've got that in there. Then go to menu 59 so it gets your call sign so it will transmit your call sign when it's transmitting. So you go to, you're on 60 now, just go down one. 59 and I've got my call sign in. Let's show you how we put that in. Press menu and straight away you're on this window. Start to hold down the up and down arrows and it will start changing. So if I hold that one down, look, it's changing already. It does cycle through small letters, large letters and numbers. So it can be a bit annoying, but if you hold it down, it's really fast, as you can see. So we want M. And then press menu to move along, just menu. And keep going along, doing exactly the same thing. Once you've got your call sign in, see the blank spaces, just keep pressing menu. And when you get to the end, it will go in, exit. So really, you're ready to go. You're in CW mode. If you want to put it in single frequency, you just go F and hold down AB. There you go. And we want to change the frequency. So we've got one, four. Oh, the other thing with Exuma, just exit there. Remember to put in the whole frequency. So you, let's, when you're in VFO mode, you'll go, we're in zero. One, four, four, then you'll go zero, say five, zero. But you have to keep pressing the zeros. There's two little zeros at the end. So now when you TX, you press the, the programmable button here. It will, oh, you need to be, we've come out of CW for some reason. So let's put that back in. We'll go menu, three. Not sure why it did that. CW. Exit, should do it now. And you'll see it will scroll along there at the bottom. It will scroll along. And it's not the best screen to see, is it? Thanks for watching my channel, bye for now.